Hey guys, what is going on today? Today I just got back from, well, I'm getting some lunch. Let's put it that way. And I figured I'd make a short little video because this battery on these GoPro 4s do not last. I just realized that. I did a little uh, test video on the way here, which is all a five minute drive. I'm right by Walmart. Walmart's to the left of us. And uh, it's down to one digit, one little bar already. And I was like, it started with three. So you can imagine how, uh, well, I'm going to need a lot more batteries if I'm going to run these GoPro 4s a lot more. Let's put it that way. The GoPro 3 lasts longer. So there's a little tip for you, review tip if you're actually looking for a review on that. GoPro 3 lasts longer. GoPro 4 does not. So, bleh. Anyways, guys, here we go. Um, I figured I'd make a little bit of a, an update of what's going on here. Um, I know a lot of people were asking me for more of these 370Z videos. You can see I'm in my 370Z today. And um, what happens is because I don't have, uh, what is it, Sony Vegas, I need to go ahead and uh, get that copy. And that way I can actually uh, merge two videos into one. With uh, the standard stuff I'm using, the basic stuff that I, uh, I have, I can't merge both videos into one. Because what happens when I want to actually show you guys the interior of the video, then you can't interior the car while I'm driving, I'm talking, you can't see the outside. Very good. And of course, when I have the outside on right now, I'm having to attach the microphone through it and then having the, it, the wire run through the outside of the window and then into the car, which is kind of a little bit wonky, you know what I mean? So that's what uh, has been going on. So once I get GoPro, uh, the Vegas, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, be uh, doing the split video so that way you can see both at the same time. The thing is, it's so flipping expensive and yes, I know we can get it from other places. Let's just put it that way, but I get it but I want to make sure at the same time uh, I get you some good quality. So uh, yeah, that's the plan right now. Uh, as you saw this week, I got that sweet little package deal from uh, Scott over there at Team Shine. So big thumbs up to you, Scott. I do appreciate it. Uh, a lot of you guys also see that, uh, watch my Facebook. I actually got um, two products the other day from Advanced Auto. I got the Dub Car Wash. I was gonna wash the cars today, but I don't know if you can see outside but the trees are really whipping pretty good and the flags are going off pretty good too so it did a pretty big indicator that it's really windy today so it wouldn't have been an ideal day to uh wash the car let's put it that way i hate when it's windy because it's drying on you before you can even get a chance to get the soap off the car and dry it off and it's just too much of a race running around i like to do things quality wise and do it right and make sure i'm not missing anything so i'm going to skip it today i'm probably going to go ahead and do it tomorrow which is saturday because today's friday i think it's friday the 6th of february right now when i'm recording this and uh yeah that's the plan right now and um i'm also going to do the mcguire's white wax on the honda prelude tomorrow now that the battery just got installed yesterday i put a brand new honda battery in it yesterday uh the mechanic that always comes to my house a retired honda mechanic does all the work he was here yesterday. He did the oil change in my blue prelude. It needed the change. It just rolled over 190,000 miles. And uh, what's it called? Uh, the white car, of course, needed the battery. Oh my God, I hate this turn. You know what sometimes you have to do here? You know, because we're in like a T intersection right here. You have to take a right, turn around, right, do a U turn right there, and then come back. Because what everybody does is right the very last second, they put on their blinker that they want to turn into here and head towards Walmart and stuff like that. Oh, I hate that Stance Nation shit. Do you see this car in front of me, Integra? The wheels are flipping sideways and shit. <laughs> I make fun of those cars so bad. It's pointless. I've got a drop on my car with the, um, uh, the Swift Springs I have, but it only gives you like an inch and a half drop all around, which is to me is perfect. I don't need to be slammed to the ground. I want it functional. I don't want to be scraping everything. And uh, I don't want to also look like a retard when I'm out there. Those wheels that stick out sideways, they, I just make fun of them all day long. You guys can say whatever you want. That's totally fine. It's my own opinion now, but that's just the way I feel about it. You know, I, I've seen a couple of Zs where their wheels are sticking out like a foot on each side. And you're like, what is the honest to God point of that? You can't go over anything. You scrape everything. You're ruining your car from top to bottom. So why would you do that? But. It's their money, they can blow it how they want to. I remember people used to make fun of the lowrider scene, and uh, oh man, lowriders, at least they could clear things. They weren't like scraping on every little thing, you know, they could just hit their air pumps and uh, pick it back up again. But these car, most of these cars don't have that. The Stance Nation thing doesn't have that, so they can't get over stuff. And you see the videos and you're sitting there laughing while well, they're having to get the boards out and stuff. But uh, yeah. So this weekend I'm going to be getting a lot, a lot of stuff for you guys. Uh, I've really planned to go ahead and knock it out. 
I want to get out probably two or three products, videos at least made, and then of course I, I upload them one at a time. I'm going to be home alone this weekend, so probably going out with the guys again to that go-kart place. That go-kart place is awesome. I love it, and I want to go and do more. Uh, the other day I was there when I showed you the guys the one video with the sweet little wreck. Uh, I didn't realize I didn't have the right SD card in there <laughs> and uh, it was full in one race it went dink and was full before I finished uh, as I finished it and uh, so I kind of screwed up there but um, yeah I want to go out there and I think a couple of the Honda guys are gonna go up there with me to, this weekend I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or Sunday but I'm gonna make some more videos and uh, I like going out there it's it is a tad bit on the expensive side it was uh, any time was three races on either track. It doesn't matter uh, for thirty nine dollars, which is kind of steep for those things. So I was like, yeah, I wouldn't do it all the time, but you know, because it's kind of a new fad to me, I want to do it some more. So that's why I'm like, I really want to get out there and uh, run it some more because I had a great time. And uh, accidentally going over that guy's uh, wheel and throwing me over the wall was it was amazing. I mean, in my shoes is like I was coming around at full speed and he just hit the brakes. He was still new to driving little go-karts and he hit the brakes and it spins you around and uh, it, every time you do it, so you gotta learn to let off the gas and then get back on it as you're coming through the circle, uh, the corners that is. And um, he just hit the brake and it spun him around and I had nowhere to go. At that point, I'd hit the brakes as hard as I could and pulled the wheel to the left to try and avoid him, but I went over his back wheel and then that, of course, launched me over the wall. And I was laying on top of the wall when they had to come pick me up. You had four guys picking up the whole go-kart and me inside of it to sit me back on the ground. So that, that was really, really interesting. But I had a great time. Nobody got hurt. You know, that's, I guess, why everybody wears the helmets. I talked to one of the guys later, and he said the worst wreck they've had is a guy actually came up besides the car, hit him, and the roll bar in the back, he literally uh, sat his go-kart straight up on its back at a 90-degree angle because his go-kart ran up the side of that other person in front of him's uh, roll bar. And so the engine and everything, he was just sitting up backwards in the air. And uh, they had to go lay the thing back down. And he said it was that was the worst truck he's ever seen. But uh, they, you know, in the video they were like, you guys need to make sure you hit the brakes and stuff. Well, clearly the guy hit the brake and he didn't do it right. So yeah, because when you hit the brakes in those cars, basically turned off the engine and then you had to hit the gas again and have to spool back up to get to speed again. It's not like a gasoline go-kart, so. It was pretty funny. But anyways, guys, I figured I'd give you a little bit of an update. I'm almost home already. You can see the traffic's been really bad today. I've just been, uh, I tried to make a video earlier and it just was just crawling everywhere I went. I said, it's just pointless. I'm del I deleted that video and uh, just maybe the weekend because I really want to get some more motorcycle vlogs out there and just uh, do some of the topics you guys had asked about. But this is just gonna be a little bit of an update instead of me sitting in front of the couch and telling everybody what's coming. Uh, you can either check out my Facebook, it's www.facebook.com slash Accord79. Just like my screen name, a lot of you guys are starting to find it. I upload everything there first, pictures with this, that, and the other first, before you guys even ever hear about it. It could be days or week ahead of uh, what you're gonna find on YouTube about it. So if you really wanna stay up to date the, and know exactly what's coming first, and this, that, and the other, get on my Facebook, and uh, you can write me anytime you want, and I'll contact you right back, and. Just go back and forth, man. I love it. Some guys post pictures up, and it's a good old time. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this short little video and uh, just a little bit of an update on why I haven't really gotten a lot of, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, these vlogs out. And that's because I really want to get the dual uh, video going now that I have both GoPros. And obviously, I need to buy a couple more batteries for the GoPro 4. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow or the next day is when I'm thinking I want to get that video out because I like to get my videos out on Saturday and Sundays and then I try and always get one out on the weekdays as well so thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later Woo. won't floor it later guys